Today we are covering freeze drying. What is freeze drying? You've heard about it. If you haven't heard about it, you've probably seen those little Skittles out there, which are really cool. Look like they've exploded. They've been freeze dried. They're delicious. So we're gonna talk about freeze drying, what it means, how it's different from dehydrating. So let's jump right into it right now. So what is freeze drying? You look behind me, there's ice cream sandwiches, there's sour cream, there's shredded cheese, there's bananas, strawberries. Moisture has been completely removed from these items through a process that these freeze dryers go through. That process begins by taking the temperature below freezing. In the case of harvest dry freeze dryers, they take the temperature all the way down to negative 40 degrees. And at that point, they then take a vacuum pump that's connected to the freeze dryer and pump out all the excess water and liquid gas that's still inside the food, making it completely dry. This process makes the food safe enough so that now it can be stored in room temperature. Now let's jump into the things I love most about freeze drying. First off, you see these bottles behind me. By freeze drying your food, the food can last, if stored correctly, at room temperature for up to 25 years. So number two is not only does it store for a long time, it also keeps 97% of the nutritional value. So during this process, it doesn't remove most of that nutritional value. Number three, freeze drying also allows you to freeze dry foods that you normally wouldn't think would be great for food storage, such as eggs. You can freeze dry eggs. You can freeze dry scalloped potatoes and ham. Essentially, you're able to freeze dry anything that you want to store for a long period of time, including your entire meal that you have leftovers that you just want to store away. And finally, another positive thing about freeze drying is you can do it in the comforts of your own home. They have small, compact freeze dryers, such as this Harvest Right freeze dryer that you can have at your home that is cheaper versus buying commercially dried food that you find at the grocery store. Not only can you eat this food in that freeze dried state, but you also can rehydrate it so it has similar consistency as if it wasn't freeze dried in the first place. So as we've covered all these great things about freeze drying, there's gotta be a few negatives. When I say negative, it doesn't mean it bad, but things you need to be aware of if you're looking at purchasing a Harvest Right freeze dryer or another freeze dryer out there. If you're looking at purchasing a freeze dryer for your house or your home and have a personal use freeze dryer, a Harvest Right freeze dryer such as this will run around the $25 to $3,000 price range depending on the size of machine that you're looking to get. Harvest Right does make multiple sizes and I'm sure there's other brands out there as well well. Also, if you use this a lot, there could be a slight increase in your electric bill. So that's number one. Second is, as you can see behind me, it's not a small appliance. You do need to make sure you find a spot to place it inside your home, whether it's in your home, garage. There's certain things you want to make sure you put in place so that it's done correctly. So you'll need to find a place to set it on a counter or a table that makes sense for you and you can have the positive results you need out of freeze drying. A couple other things is time. Freeze drying is not a quick thing to do. It doesn't take just a couple hours or a few minutes. Many times it may take, as, it, as it's listed here, it may take 24 hours, up to two or three days to freeze dry one batch of items that you're looking to store in the future. And finally, depending on the machine and the type of pump that you get, the oil pump that comes with a Harvest Right freeze dryer is something you need to maintain over time and you need to change that oil quite frequently, uh, probably more frequently than you uh, would think. The oil needs to be changed. It's recommended right now every three to four uses that oil needs to be changed. If you're looking for some great tricks and tips on how to use your freeze dryer, we've created a previous video with one of our customers that was actually showing her demonstration on what she loved about freeze drying. You can see that video right here. So click on that link to get some added information about freeze drying. And finally, I mentioned I wanted to compare freeze drying against other methods of food storage, such as dehydrating. The biggest difference between dehydrating food and freeze drying food is dehydrating uses warm temperature to remove moisture out of the food, removing about 70% of the moisture versus freeze drying removes almost 100% of the moisture. They say 99% of the moisture that's in the foods. Because of that difference, freeze drying food will last longer than your dehydrated food, but they're both fantastic options. Depending on what your preference is. Uh, we wanted to cover some of the pros and cons today. We thank you for watching and we hope you've enjoyed this video. Please share in the comments below questions or thoughts you have about freeze drying. If you have some great successes, you have a favorite food that you freeze dried, please share with us. We want to try it. Stay tuned for our next video here soon. We cover all things appliances and furniture for your home. So we appreciate you watching today and have a great one.